Volume 2, Japji Sahib, Body 12. First, before going into Body 12, let's make an attempt to understand the difference between the words Man and Manan. Man means thought or mind. Manan is actually a state of no mind reached through thought. For example, when you chant Om, there are three levels. First level is of the external sound that is coming from the word Om that you have chanted. The second level, after the chant from the lips is over, the word Om is still in the mind. That is the second level. The third level happens when even the word Om is not there in the mind, but just the echo of Om remains and you are in silence. There is no thought, there is no word, there is nothing. Just the after effect of the mantra Om that echoes in silence. That is the third level. When you are in that third level of absolute silence and you just get absorbed within and just relax in that, devoid of thought, devoid of emotions, devoid of any chit chat, just relaxing in that inner silence is Manan. It is actually a state of no mind or no man. Clear? So let's chant Om three times to actually understand these three levels that we just discussed. Let's close our eyes. Sit comfortably. Spine erect. Keep a smile on the face. And for the next five minutes, I'm not interested in anything outside. I'm just going to look at the silence that exists within me in my mind. Empty the mind of all thoughts, all emotions, all chit chat. There is no need for any chit chat for the next two to three minutes. Take a deep breath in and out. Take another deep breath in and let go.
Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. So were you able to gauge the three levels, the level of the sound of the mantra Om, the level of the word in the mind and the level of the after effect, the echo of the mantra in silence. When there was really nothing left, just silence. When you dissolve into that silence, that is the meaning of manan. And that in Punjabi or in Gurmukhi is called Manne. Twelfth body starts with Manne or the song about Manan. Manne ki gat kahi na jaye Ji ko kahe pichhe pachitaye Kagad kalam na likhan haar Manne ka bahi karan vichar Aisa naam niranjan hoi Ji ko man jane man koi Manne ki gat kahi na jaye so this man, manan that you just did, the state of no mind, it's gat. Gat means the speed of it cannot be described. Basically, manan is beyond description. Even I could just take you there by pointing in that direction that after Om, that echo, that reverberation that you experience, you just dissolve in that. I could just show you a sign, this is the way. But I cannot really describe it in totality. I cannot take you there, lead you there by hand. That only you can do. And why you have the potentiality? Because when you were a little baby and you had not learned to speak, there was only the external sound, which is level one, and the internal silence, the level three. The level two, the word did not exist for you because you had not learned to formulate words into sentences. So there were only two levels for you. Later on when the baby grows up, learns to speak, the middle level comes and that clouds the mind. That becomes chit-chat, a constant record that plays ceaselessly. And that is what is stress. That is what is called man or mind. So basically, you have the potentiality to rest in that level three, that silence. That absolute nothingness or shunyata was very familiar to you as a little baby. That's why you see babies are very happy. They are always smiling. They have nothing there is really nothing that the baby has attained or achieved and yet it has this ceaseless smile on its face. Where does this smile come from? It's very simple. From that inner silence. That inner silence is your nature. And when you learn to just rest in your own nature, then you get what you are really thirsting for. The state of no mind. Manan. 
This manan cannot be described, he says. Je ko kahe pichhe pachta hai. Whoever says it tries his best to describe it. He later on thinks, oh, you know, maybe what I meant to say, what I wanted to express, I could not say that. He always feels this. I can only point you to a particular dis direction, but I really cannot take you there despite wanting to take you there. That is why there is Pichhe Pachtana. Means later on, there is this thought or regret that I could not really take you there. The spiritual path is such that each must walk his own path. Each must get there on his own. Teachers like me are just signboards. We just show you the direction. Walk this way. Walk this way. But who has to do the walking? You must do that. Lao Tzu said that the truth cannot be put into words. The truth is just silence. How do you describe silence? You can describe noise or sound because there's so many words to describe it. But how do you describe silence? Just absence of sound. And that's it. Just silence. Manan is that state of absolute silence where there is stillness, where there is nothing, no words, no sounds, no emotions, no I, no you. Absolute silence. If I cannot even describe silence to you, how can I describe the highest truth? It cannot be put into words. And whenever somebody puts it into words, he always feels that he could not convey. Words are insufficient to get the message across to the seeker. Only somebody who is ready, who is ripe, he gets it. He connects to the silence. If you can connect to my inner silence, you will get what I am saying. Manne or Manan is that state of no mind in between thoughts, in between two breaths, in between two emotions. Where you just relax, rest and withdraw from everything. That is what you are really thirsting for. That is what you really want. But what pulls you out of it? The gati, the speed of the mind. That is what pulls you out of that resting place. And does not let you abide there. Let's understand speed of the mind. Manan ki gati and man ki gati are two different things. Man ki gati is the speed of the mind. Manan ki gati is the speed of no mind. First, let's understand man ki gati, the speed of the mind. Suppose you are traveling in a train and you're looking outside the window, you see trees, people, houses passing by at a great speed. But that is an illusion. Are the trees moving? Are the houses moving? No. You sitting in that train is what is actually in motion. Just like that, the thoughts are constantly moving in the mind. Sensations are constantly moving and I 
tend to identify with them and think I am noisy, I am angry, I am hateful. The I has really never moved. The I is silent. It always has been, it will always be. It is just a witness. It just wrongly identifies with the movement of thought, the movement of the noise in the mind and thinks I am noisy. This movement of thought is the speed of the mind. The I that is silent has never moved, has never really been noisy. How do you explain the speed of that witness of that silence? How do you explain the speed of manan? So this manan ki gati or the speed of the no mind is inexplicable in words. Just like Lao Tzu said, the truth cannot be described in words. That is why Nanak used to sing. Nanak realized that words cannot justify it. But maybe that song, the rhythm, will help you connect to the silence within. When the song ends, the echo of the sound remains. That reverberates in the silence. And maybe that helps you connect to the self. Manne ki gati kahi na jaye. Je ko kahe pichhe pachtaye. The speed of the mind is inexplicable in words. The one who tries to explain always feels short of words, always feels that he could not convey the meaning as he wanted to. Kagad kalam na likhan haar manne ka bahi karan vichar no paper, no pen, no scribe can record in words what is really manan. How can words describe silence? They will always feel silence cannot be described in words because silence means the absence of words. The sages of yesteryears, when they went into Samadhi and they dissolved into that inner silence, they could actually hear the sound of the universe, which is very similar to the sound Om. So now how does this sage explain the sound? So he just created the word Om or the mantra Om or the sound Om. Maybe by chanting that you go in and just from the external sound to the word and then finally deeper into the echo, just the reverberation of sound and that takes you into silence. And in that silence you can really hear it. It is like a little ringing sound in the ears. It's not really OM. The rhythm is the same. In such a way, the sage made an attempt to help the layman so that he could dissolve into the self, into the shunyata, into the manan. Esa naam niranjan hoye, je ko man jane, man koye. Such is the name. 
and the name is Niranjan. It is immaculate. Name really the Lord or silence or shunyata, nothingness cannot be given a name. But because in that silence, you naturally hear the sound of the universe. The sound of the universe was just given by the sage as Om. And he says it is untainted. So it is not really a name, but still that's the closest word we can use for it. Esa naam niranjan hoi. It is a taintless name, unsoiled name. Jeko man jane man koi. Only one who has reached such a stage, he is the one who truly knows. Lots of people come to me and ask, will it take a lot of lifetimes for me to get there? It is not so. If you believe that it is difficult for you, you have already laid down your path and made it difficult. If you become very clear that all this is just said by the yogi for the person who is stuck in his ego and does not want to let go of the shore. He's holding on so tightly to the shore, to his cravings, his aversions, his illusionary world. He's not ready to dive into the ocean. For such a person, the sage just says, you know, takes a lot of practice to let go. But somebody who is ready to dive into that silence, for him, it is not difficult. For him, it won't take time. You look inside you and see, are you ready to dive? You will be ready to dive in only if you have the love for truth. If you don't have the love for truth, it will not happen. Only if you give it first priority will something like this come to you. Just like you worked very hard in school or in college to get a particular reward, to get a particular whatever credit in school or particular grade or particular marks. It wasn't easy. You had to make an effort and you had to let go of TV and social life and everything and just commit yourself to studies. Just like that, are you committed to the truth, to know the truth at all costs? Then only are you a real seeker, a sincere seeker. You check today. Look within. Are you really sincere? Do you really have the thirst to find the truth within? I will tell you the, the difference between the sincere seeker and the insincere seeker in the next body. Until then, you keep diving into the echo of sound. And then into the silence that reverberates with that sound. And just be, just be, just be. Only one who has the real thirst will find the Lord. Esa naam niranjan hoi. Jeko man jane man koi.